The cheetle, or spotted deer, is the most common and most visible deer of India. It occurs in four other t countries, including Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and Nepal. A grazing animal, the cheetle represents one of the main prey species of tigers, leopards, and other predators of India. The jackal is a common canine species seen in Kana National Park. Kana National Park is one of only two remaining places where the Barasinga or swamp deer occur. This is a very endangered species that almost went extinct. The Sambar is the largest deer of India, attaining a weight of up to 500 pounds. They occur in smaller groups usually than the Cheetal or the Barasinga. And of course, India is most famous for the iconic animal, the Royal Bengal Tiger, Panthera tigris tigris. It has been estimated that perhaps at the beginning of the 20th century, there were anywhere from 20 to 40,000 wild Bengal tigers living in India. In 1930, hunting had taken its toll, such that the famous man-eating tiger hunter, Jim Corbett noted, that the tiger would not survive as a species in India much longer unless it was given protection status. The last year that it was legal to hunt tigers in India was 1968. After that, then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi established Project Tiger, which sought to establish and maintain quite a number of tiger reserves throughout India all in the interest of preserving this species and associated wildlife that occurred alongside it. Today there are an estimated 1,000 to 1,400 Royal Bengal Tigers living throughout more than 40 of these tiger reserves, all an outcome of Project Tiger. And notice how he's casual. Recently winning awards for being the most eco-friendly lodge throughout all of India, the Chitvan Jungle Lodge provides the visitor with an excellent dining experience, an excellent lodging experience, and excellent access to Kana National Park. This is certainly the finest lodge I have ever visited in all of India. And here we see the chef, always smiling, preparing one of the many fine meals served daily at this lodge. Do this make in the salad. The Scops Owl is one of the smaller owls frequently seen in Kana National Park. The Peacock is perhaps the most common of the large birds seen in Kana National Park. Their calls are frequently heard ringing throughout the jungle. And here we see a pair of male cheetle, 
doing a little sparring, perhaps getting in practice for the upcoming rut. Lodge, I got you. It is notable that mother tigers will teach their cubs how to hunt by starting them off on peacocks. This is very commonly done. This is an interesting pairing of species. Here we see the Hanuman langurs, a common monkey of India, alongside the cheetle or spotted deer. Indeed, these two species often call out, announcing the approach of a leopard or tiger, and thus giving warning calls both within their species and between these two species. Though the wild pig is an abundant herbivore of Kana National Park, adult examples of this species can be powerful animals that are not easily subdued by an attacking tiger. Indeed, the tusks can be very well developed and function as formidable defensive weapons. Attaining a weight of up to 60 pounds, the barking deer is one of the smaller deers of India. As its name would suggest, it can bark like a dog, and sometimes it can be heard sounding throughout the forest in Kana National Park. <laughs> the gore or Indian bison is a member of the family Bovidae. It attains a weight of as much as 3,000 pounds. Its lean, muscular build and strong horns make it a very dangerous animal for tigers to hunt. Indeed, tigers have been killed in attempting to take down a gore. Okay. Yes. A very rare sight in India, a large gore that has been killed by a family of tigers. In this case, the mother and the father and the four offspring fed on this carcass. Wait. next morning that much of the gore has been consumed by the six tigers.
And now we're going to experience something very rare, a sloth bear encountering a tiger in the wild. This sloth bear is ambling along, unsuspecting that it's about to encounter a tiger in its path. Now, while the adult male Bengal tiger enjoys perhaps a two to three hundred pound weight advantage over the sloth bear, the sloth bear is nonetheless a dangerous animal to tangle with. And rather than risk losing an eye or being badly injured otherwise, the tiger will often retreat. However, it should be noted that there are well-documented cases of adult Bengal tigers killing adult sloth bears.